Holy, look at what we just found. That's a giant muley buck. There's a really cool rifle called the 9.3 Grelic Drilling Rifle, and we've had a lot of fun with it in the past, especially taking down Big Gems Buck. And uh, I think we've hunted for um, even caribou with it, and elk, and moose, and... Um, here's the thing though, I don't know if we can actually use it on mule deer, but we're definitely going to be using it on mule deer. If we do see a big buck, something worthy of taking it down ethically, 100% ethically, we're just going to use the 16 gauge slugs. And I think we're about to find out if we can use it or not. Well, it didn't drop it, so it seems like we could definitely potentially be able to use it. I don't know, let's go over and go find out. That's going to be our first mule deer down with a 9.3 Grelic Drilling Rifle. And that sounded pretty incredible. And I don't believe... Proper ammo. <laughs> we can use it! I'm so excited! I am so excited, it's not even funny. I honestly had no clue you could actually use this for the mule deer. That means you could potentially use it for whitetail as well. Wow! Okay, we are definitely gonna keep on hunting with a 9.3. What do we jump up there now? That's a giant black book. Now I know for certain we cannot use the 9.3 on him, but we could use the 16 gauge slugs. Ooh, that's a huge level three. Okay, we're trying to find the black buck and we jumped up a massive muley buck out here. A big old level three muley buck. And we have the slugs and let's switch back to, there we go. One little button, it makes all the difference. Come on, turn back. What a beautiful buck. I actually don't know where he's going. Well, I couldn't find him just yet, but I got a pretty good idea where he might be going. And we're gonna go after him in a second, but for now, I think we're gonna take down this other level. Actually, is that something white back there or is that a tree? You see that? Uh, that might be a tree. Anyways, we're gonna go for this bucket about 250. I'll have to hold for kind of the top of the lung. That should be good. <laughs> Man, this thing sounds amazing. Let's go get him. So as we're heading over here to get that buck, I'm gonna show you where I think that other muley might be heading to. Now, I spotted him right here, trotting off this way. Well, you guys saw that. I'm pretty sure that buck's gonna be somewhere over here drinking, and we're gonna have to come back there in a little bit and see if we can't find that buck. Boy, that thing would've been really, really tough to find. Honestly, I don't even have any tracks here, but luckily enough, I knew which direction he went, and uh, we found him 207 yards out, shoulder blade, left lung, and a 181 there. I found him. He's about 290 yards out here. We were just after the stag. There was a red deer stag right here somewhere. And uh, a couple of small muley bucks and then... Oh, hello. <laughs> Thanks for saying hi. I was trying to find you. It was a decent level 7 stag as well. But uh, yeah, it kind of led us right over to this muley buck here. So we're sitting here at about 250 and I think I'll take up to like a 200 yard shot with this. We'll still have to hold a little bit high, but any further than like 200 is going to be pretty tricky. There's that stag right there, 200 yards out. We might be able to take him down as well. If I can pull out that one, we might try and do that, but we'll see what happens. 200 yards, that'll do it. That'll definitely do it. And he's down not stop. Okay. Heart shot, and can we pull out the M1? Ooh, got a good hit into him. I don't know if it's a quite good enough hit to take him down, but definitely made an awesome shot on that muley. I had a track from another really good muley buck back here as well. So I wanna make sure he's not around here because I'm pretty sure he probably is. So here's our buck. I believe he actually has a pretty good chance at making gold, and he is going to. Ended up getting a 202 yard double lung hard shot and a 225 gold muley buck right there. Pretty awesome shot with a 9.3 as well. That's non vital. That'll definitely take that stag down. Not bad. We're not going to get the full score out of him, but 
That's all right. He wasn't a giant, just a pretty good one. There's another good muley buck out there. I thought that was the one I was looking for, but he's not quite the one I was looking for. I have a track from a max weight muley somewhere nearby, and we'll pick him up. It probably would have been, yeah, it definitely would have been a gold, but not that big of one. Got an intestine hit at 214 on the run. Ooh, that's a good buck. That's another guaranteed gold potential muley buck right there. Still not exactly the one I was looking for, but that's a good buck. And should have smoked him. Yeah, he's down. Double lunged him, actually. Another buck out there. Pretty small one. I found him. I found him. He's about 250 out. Don't walk away. The shot looked awesome. It really did. Just depends on... Yes, we got him! Heck <laughs> yes! A walking 250 yard perfect shot on a giant muley buck. Well, let's go over and go take a look just as soon as we pick up this level 3. Which actually might make gold as well. And that's going to be a gold 233. Ended up catching kind of the bottom of the shoulder. That busted through. Got a double lung liver at 182 and a 233 gold muley. It's our second gold of the hunt. That's actually a really, really cool looking rack. Got blood right there. Tracks going this way. Good blood here. Good blood here. And there he lays right there. Yeah, this one should be a good one. He should be like a 240, 250s buck. And it should be our biggest buck so far. Well, hello, Axis dear. Let's pick him up. That's going to be a 243. We ended up catching... Oh, man. I'm not going to say it was an awesome shot, but it was a pretty good shot. Running away at 217 yards, quartering away. We ended up catching stomach, intestine, and we managed to barely get the liver out of that. But you know what? I still think it was a pretty good shot. And actually a really, really unique looking rack. Take a look at that. And yeah, like I said, from this angle, we were really only about an inch or two back from where ideally I'd like to be, which would be right about here. You'd kind of want to hold for the liver. Well, you'd want to hit the liver. You want to hold for the front of the lung, but you really don't have much to hit there because if you hold for the shoulder, there's a chance you might hit that shoulder. Here, you can either hit the lung or the liver. And luckily enough for us, we caught the liver and got ourselves a nice muley buck here. Biggest one of the hunt. Jeez, that's a huge axis deer. It seems like he kind of wants to come this way too. Let's keep an eye on him. Where might he want to go to? Probably somewhere over here. God, that's him. Oh, we found him. All right, time to put the sneak on him, guys. Time to put the spot and stock on this giant dime potential access buck. Okay, guys, so he's only about 50 yards out right there. But it's a matter of trying to get past all these other ones to get to him. He's right back there in the very back. You can see it's, it's him from a mile away. Look at the size of that rack. Wow. That's going to be pretty tricky. We're going to have to go for probably like a 60 yard shot. Because if we get any closer, we could potentially spook a lot of these other ones. So we don't want to do that. I'm about to just pop up behind this tree and take them. Because we can't get any cover otherwise. Which one is he? Oh, he's back. I think that's him. Where the heck did he go? I found him. I found him. Oh my god, he's 40 yards away. <laughs> we dropped him. <laughs> he was behind that big tree the whole entire time. And uh, I couldn't figure out where he was. Finally, I thought, you know what? Let's slide over a little bit. And I have a 40-yard pin. So luckily for us, we just basically drew back, held that pin right on him, and let one fly. And there he lays right there. What a perfect shot. Let's go get him. Maybe one more. Like that. And let's pick him up. He's a diamond! 
Ooh, we actually did catch that jaw. That's one of the luckiest shots we've made right there. Take a look at this. I mean, his nose was right where I wanted to aim, but the thing is we didn't have any time to uh, take the shot basically because we were right out in the wide open and we were at full draw. He would have been gone. So <laughs> we went right through the jaw and caught a single lung at 43 yards out and got a 226 diamond axis deer that might be one of the luckiest shots i've taken right there i mean don't get me wrong it was an awesome shot but the fact that we nicked his skull and that didn't mess up our shot is so so lucky but all i know is we got him and he's definitely going to the lodge oh Holy, look at what we just found. That's a giant muley buck. Where is he going, though? Tiny one there. Um, well, we're right here right now. We spotted that buck here, but I saw him. I mean, I guess he might actually be drinking right here. Maybe we could come back in the morning and see if he's over here. Well, it's the next day and that muley buck right there is the same buck that was with that giant buck. That means should be coming out next. I still don't know where he's going to go. Probably down there. Well, I never could find that big muley buck. He's got to be here somewhere, but I did hard find pretty nice black buck here at about 100 yards out and i think we're gonna try out the slugs so let's go for it he's down that worked out way better than i imagined not bad and it's gonna be a silver are you serious you can't use slugs on the black buck Oh, that's unfortunate. You're not going to believe it, but we finally found that giant muley buck. I was just about to go to a different spot and I thought I want to check one more lake here. And I just spotted him. Now he's definitely going quite a ways away from here. I saw him like way out there, 380 yards trotting that way. So he's nowhere near where we're at right now. In fact, uh, well, we were waiting for him over here and we're way down here right now. And I just spotted that huge muley buck trotting right here going to the east side over this way. So I really don't know where he's going, but I'm hoping that he might drink somewhere over here. And that's going to be a bit of an issue. Got a puma out there. Where'd he go? There he is. Why would you start trotting? <laughs> it doesn't matter if you trot or not, you're still getting smoked. Wow. What do we got there now? There's a doe. I don't think that would have spooked our big buck. Either way, we got a long ways to go to get over there to get to him, which is... Oh my god, there he is! No way! Look at the size of that buck. I cannot believe we found him. It's a long ways away though. We don't have a ton of time actually. We have uh, about an hour. So let's go over here. We'll grab this puma and try and get position on this huge milli buck. Well, there lays our puma. Let's pick him up, or her, I don't even know. It was a female. I ended up getting a trotting 284 yard lower neck shot, and we dropped her right on the spot. 1300 cash on top of it. Now, our big muley buck should be 
right out there, so we gotta be careful. There's our buck, there's our buck! Slow down, he's 150 out. Smoked him. Hit a little bit lower than I would have liked. <laughs> He's down. Yes. Man, that was one smart old buck. But we hit him right here, and that is definitely a vital hit. Let's take a look at this huge muley buck. Our biggest one of the hunt, and no, we are not getting interrupted. This, this moment is not getting interrupted by you guys. I'll tell you that right now. I will tell you that right now. Right now. Anyways. Before we got rudely interrupted, let me actually reload this real quick so we can throw in 9.3 in case we need it. And put the scope back on. Let's take a look at this beautiful muley buck. That's going to be a pretty cool picture just like that, actually. And yeah, we got him. Let's pick him up and see just how big he's going to be. That's going to be a 275 gold. We double lunged him at 236 yards. What an incredible rack on that muley buck there. And actually, pretty awesome shot. I mean, we just nicked, but well, we just missed the back of the heart there and still made an awesome shot. 236 yards at a 275, 400 pound blonde muley buck. Let's get him mounted. He looks incredible. I do want to show you where we just got this huge buck from in case you're wondering and we are on the southeast end of the map here by the Lago BB. Um, this actually this is not called the Lago BB but whatever the Lago BB I call this the Lago BB outpost and uh, that muley buck was right out here drinking at about uh, 11 o'clock in the morning. We spotted him from right here. We had to sneak all the way around and came up to about 270 yards out. We smoked him right here. Ended up with an overall spread of 48 inside on that muley buck right there. And with that, I think that's going to pretty much wrap up this hunt. We've had a heck of a time today. Ended up taking down a huge diamond access buck, which we got pretty lucky with the shot. And then we found... What else did we find? I don't know. A bunch of other mule deer. And then we found this guy, but I couldn't figure out where he went. We saw him trotting away at about 200 and... Actually, it was probably 380 yards out. We couldn't manage to take the shot because that's a little bit too risky for this uh, 9.3. Finally, we ended up taking down this Puma and it led us right to this giant muley buck here. And he scored 275 and I am so happy the fact that we can get a huge muley buck with the 9.3 drilling rifle. And that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.